Did you know that Nginx can function as a reverse proxy, load balancer, API gateway, or forward proxy? What are the differences between these roles, and when should you use each? Let's dive in. A load balancer's main job is to spread incoming traffic across multiple server instances. This keeps any single server from getting overwhelmed and crashing, and ensures that traffic only goes to healthy servers by performing health checks. This increases a system's reliability and scalability. Load balancers operate at either layer 4, the transport layer, or layer 7, the application layer, of the OSI model. Popular load balancer products include HAProxy, AWS Elastic Load Balancer, and Nginx. A reverse proxy sits in front of servers, acting as the entry point for all client requests and forwarding them to a backend server cluster. It can mask servers' real IP addresses, enhancing security by protecting against malicious attacks. It can also cache content and handle SSL termination. A reverse proxy can perform load balancing, but its primary strength is at layer 7. In high traffic situations, dedicated load balancers are typically more efficient and effective at distributing traffic. Common reverse proxy solutions include Nginx, Apache HTTP Server, and Caddy. An API gateway extends the concept of a reverse proxy by specifically managing API requests. It serves as the main entry point for all API traffic, routing requests to the appropriate backend service. Besides routing, the API gateway handles tasks like authentication, logging, rate limiting, and circuit breaking. In microservices architectures, it is essential because it can combine responses from multiple backend services, minimizing the number of requests a client has to make. Popular API gateways include Kong, Amazon API Gateway, and Google Cloud Apigee. In contrast to the other three, a forward proxy sits on the client side, helping users access resources on external networks. Common uses include bypassing network restrictions, hiding the client's identity, filtering or monitoring traffic, and improving access speeds through caching. Forward proxies are often used in corporate networks, where employees access external resources or by individuals looking to access blocked websites. Popular forward proxy tools include Squid, Bluecoat Proxy SG, and Shadow Socks. To build a secure, efficient, and flexible system architecture, companies can mix and match these tools as needed. For example, a website might use a reverse proxy to handle user requests, an API gateway to manage public API traffic, and a forward proxy for internal clients needing controlled access to external resources. Additionally, when clustering services or applications, a load balancer can help manage incoming traffic across all instances.